And this one is officially underway with the puck dropped. Here's a short pass to Marchand. Takes a shot, gets the glove on it. Pushes it across to Marner. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck picked up by Bergeron. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Great stick work with the steal. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Leafs take it along the wall. With the stop. Moves it to Marchand. Can't find his man. Couldn't connect on that pass. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's broken up. Taken by Matthews. Quick pass to Marner. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. He scores! Austin Matthews, the cover boy, makes it happen! Toronto's home fans are back right on their feet again. Man, they just sat down. Now get back up. Everybody cheer, sit back down, and maybe they can do it again. Grabs the puck at center. Moves it quickly over to Carlo. And that's just out of reach. Number 16. Time of the goal. Picked up along the boards by Carlo. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Dishes it to Muzzin. From point blank, misses high. That feels like a wasted opportunity. You got to get it on target. Might have skipped up on him right before he let it go. Toronto's in now. And he takes a shot. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Now the goalie just can't keep up to the change of directions. A hard shot tipped in nicely. The Leafs have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. The Bruins win the faceoff. Scored by number 88. Quick feed to Richie. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. That knocks him off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Richie. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Nothing doing on that. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Now a quick pass to Kerfoot. Couldn't complete the play. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he gains the zone here. Blocked in front. Moves it to Kasha. No one home on that play. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Bogosian. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate, Whoa. scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. Toronto's offense has been on fire to start this one, and still lots of time left in the first. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Slides the puck to Brody. Toronto's got it along the wall. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Brody. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. From the point, they take control of it. Great heads-up play by the defender. Smith swooping in on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. Riley stick-handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Corrali. And now he angles it across to Smith. Right in front. Can't connect. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed. Here he is from the slot, and the lane's clogged up, blocking that. And now it's to Hall. Takes the pass. Grabs control of it at the point. 
Musa quickly over to Corrali. And they can't connect. Receives the pass. Hammers it on net. And that's broken up. Passes it to Nylander. The Leafs are in transition. They've got numbers. Here's a shot. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Rask. Sends it over to Pasternak. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. The Bruins win it. Puck grab by Grislyk. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. The coaches scrambled to get that top power play out on the ice here. Their first opportunity tonight. They want to crack into this lead. Puck scooped up by Grislyk. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Sends a pass over. Into the offensive zone. Driving right to the front. He scores! What a counter punch shorthanded! Teams are talking when they're down a man. This is the result. Every once in a while, you're going to punch one through shorthanded. The Leafs have extended their lead, and boy, they have been dominant tonight. Now, both ends of the ice, they've controlled the way this game has been played to this point. Quick feed to Kerfoot. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Rask. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Quick feed down low. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Through center along the wing. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Brody. The Bruins certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. The Leafs have dominated them thus far and continue to do so here in this second. Slides it on over to Krejci. Skates to the crease. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Riley. Great read to break up the play. Moves it to Krejci. Toronto's got the puck here in the open ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it over. Paddled away by Anderson. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Brody's got it against the boards. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick pass to Bergeron. Here's an odd man rush. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Grabbed along the boards by Carlo. Swing and a miss. Musa quickly over to Riley. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the face-off, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. And now it's grabbed by Muzzin. Pass across to Simmons. Quick feed to Galchenyuk. Sends it out right in front. Scores! You think that there's a one-set way to score in the power play. You find out in a hurry, it does. 
doesn't really matter where the puck goes. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. The Leafs offense on full display tonight. What impressed you the most? Well, the varied way that they score. I mean, they have just dominated this game. I love the way that they've attacked the net. Toronto's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Eight minutes, two seconds. Matthews wins the draw. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. That's intercepted. Can't connect. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. The Bruins will play it from the corner. From one point man to another. Great defensive effort to step in and block it. Here's a short pass to Hole. Takes the feed. Marner's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him with a save. Moves it to Coyle. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here comes the sentence. The Leafs will serve two minutes in the box. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck, and then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. Another chance here on the man advantage. It's never much fun being on the ice for a shorthanded goal against. They'll have to go and try and fix that right now. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Here he is in front. Knocked away. Quick pass to Pasternak. Moves the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Here he is in front. Great save by Anderson. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned, but he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. they got to get it into the zone quickly. From point blank, and he rings the post. Boston's looking for a little luck here. I mean, they're down by a bunch. They can't even get a bounce their way. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it over to Simmons. And they send it right back to him. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. What a steal in his own end. They go on the attack through center. Puck picked up by Hole. Carries it in. Big time stop there. Rask fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Comes up with the stop. Picked up along the wall by Pasternak. Can't catch up to the pass. Oh, what a save with the stick by Rask. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Shots the puck away. The Leafs have it against the wall. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Hey, fans, time for our parachute drop. If you'd like to join our Insiders Club here tonight, you can get exclusive media-only access to upcoming press conferences, practices, or even a locker room tour. Membership is free, so what are you waiting for? Join our Insiders Club today. for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Slavowski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Boston's won the draw. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Stops him with a glove! Oh. 
Toronto's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. From the blue line, they take control of it. Quick feed to Bergeron. Matthews is taken down. A penalty is coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. Power play unit going back to work. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. Oh, what a slick stuff by Rask! Well, that's one way to get out of danger. Nah, I don't know if that's the best play, but man, he pulled it off. <laughs> no kidding. Nice pass. Shot gobbles that puck up with his chest. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Bruins get a hold of it. Regains control here in the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Grabs the puck and moves on out. Blazing in on the breakaway. Denies him. Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Taken by Galchenyuk. Boston's regained possession of the puck. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pasternak's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Came up with the save on that play. Here comes the official's decision. Slashing the call, and a pretty dangerous one at that. That's way too big a swing to get away with. He's going to go to the box. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press. Well, a challenge being laid here. Hyman's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. The Leafs move to the offensive zone. Right in front of the net, and they can't convert to the play. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And we've got a two-on-one. Here's a short pass to Spezza. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, what a stop! Scooped up along the wall by Spezza. Great reflexes, another save. Oh, I like this stop here. He makes the save, he looks at control, and the rebound's 30 to 40 feet away. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Good hit. Here he is all alone. And that falls apart. I can tell you one play that won't be on his highlight reel. <laughs> Not that one. Break away. What a save. He stayed with him the whole time. Once you make the fake, if the goalie doesn't bite, you're in big trouble. That's what happened there. Picked up along the boards by Hyman. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Rask. Puck grabbed by Krejci. Levels him into the wall. Steps across the blue line. Takes it into the slot. And he denied that opportunity. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Moves it to Hyman. The Leafs looking against the half wall. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Bruins are being...